So thank you all for staying here after coffee. I know it's, it's difficult, um, but I'm grateful for, uh, for you to be here. So um, I wanted to present uh, some of the work I did at SEA uh, Cadarache, at the south of, of France, just uh, uh, besides the, the either side. This was a uh, uh, work I did for uh, the internship, uh, a two month internship, very short, short one, uh, where we uh, profit with the uh, researcher Remy, no Remy Noetas. And it's, it's specifically, uh, the work was to improve the injection, the gas injection system for the West of Mass. The sum of the content, well, what is the motivation of the project? Uh, what we wanted to achieve, what were the objectives, a uh, bit of the main piece I had to model, which was the piezoelectric actuator. And uh, well, at the end, the results, which are well, the piezoelectric model uh, we obtained, uh, the adaptation of the real piezoelectric model. So translate the, the computational model to the real one, and then coupling this uh, piezoelectric to the real injection system, the West of Command Field. And then so, some conclusions. So the motivation is the importance of uh, keeping a controlled density profile in, in a tokamak. So as you know, um, in tokamak uh, plasma, in order to have uh, to avoid enhancement of instabilities, you need a certain profile of, of density. And also for the, the plasma power, uh, the fusion power is highly related to, to density. So we wanted to construct uh, a real-time uh, reconstruction plasma density for the West Tokamak for the system that we have already uh, built, it, but the piece that I worked with was uh, still not developed. So as you can see here, well, we have uh, an image of the West Tokamak, the, the inside, before it was called the uh, Torre Supra. So this is the main uh, injection system. You can see we have the balloon, which contains the gas we want to put inside the, the machine. We have, a, we have a flow meter to measure those well, the, the, flow, the flow of the different species that, want, that should be injected into the vacuum vessel. Then we have the, the piezo valve, which is in charge of uh, allowing um, the gas to enter the vacuum vessel. So, and this is my, this was my, my work to model this piezo, the piezo valve, and then coupling to the, to the computational model. So of course you have uh, a gas going into the vacuum vessel and you want to maintain a certain profile, an, an optimum profile. And then the, the data that's coming from the vacuum vessel is then uh, sent to the, to the piezo electric that allows to, uh, to control the amount of gas that is injected. And then keeping a steady, steady quiet. So, of some of the objectives um, it was to obtain computational model for the piezoelectric, then simulate the gas injection light with uh, this piezoelectric uh, model for the wet parameters. And then, the, the most difficult part I found for this was to obtain the PID control uh, values to, to maintain a steady. Uh, Pressure and density density provided. Then we have well, some specific objectives like uh, developing the mathematical um, equations that model this this piezoelectric. Uh, the the theories that I will talk about this. And yeah, and then validate the simulation and contrast with the actual campaign running of the West Tokamak data. So a bit of piezoelectric actuator, as I said, is the value is the valve that allows the, the pass of gas to the to the vacuum chamber. So a piezoelectric is just a, a material that when there is applied an electric field, it suffers some bending, and this can be measured and uh, often it's, it's really uh, really accurate. You can see the problem we have is to set a nonlinear behavior. So I, I, this series is behavior actually. And to model this uh, behavior of the piezoelectric, I use what's called a Bookwind system of equations that 
uh, model the uh, hemispheric with the uh, uh, behavior. There's a beautiful. So as we can see here, the model is, is modeled like a, a harmonic dampened harmonic oscillator, where M is the mass of the piezoelectric, B is the damp the natural damping of the material. Um, K is also a parameter of the of the piezo, and uh, zeta is just the uh, hysteresis uh, value that models the hysteresis behavior. Alpha, beta, and gamma are internal parameters that shape uh, how long is the 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 voltage applied to the to the piezoelectric. And also, um, how fast is the, the curve and what the principle is later. So, the first part was to um, match the model, the mapping master model, to uh, the paper I used uh, to obtain the model. So, with the values that were already on the paper, I just made a simulation in MATLAB and matched the results with the ones of the paper. So I can be assured that the model, the mathematical model, actually gives the result. And well, because these are the values that were on the paper, then uh, I did the simulation in Simulink, uh, for which are not aware of what Simulink is. It's just another way to write uh, differential equations, a system of equations in a very uh, interesting way. It was my first time using it, so I spent a lot of time, a lot of time learning how to use uh, this, you know, this program. So as you can see, these are just a reproduction of the same results of the paper using the same values they use. So we have a effective displacement produced by the hysteresis uh, behavior in the in the voltage and in the in the displacement suffered by the piezoelectric bar. We have the hysteresis um, behavior. So until now, everything is safe. Now, the next step, yes, the next step is to use the real values, the piezoelectric they use in the real wet uh, injection system. So as you can see, we have the mass of 2.8 uh, kilograms, the damping constant, the piezo constant, and the alpha, beta, gamma, which were more difficult to obtain since, well, we have to apply numerical methods to it. But still, the results obtained were, uh, were quite good. And actually matches the uh, fabric, um, the fabric uh, data they sent from the, for the real piezo. So that was my second step, to match uh, the model, the real model with the real piezo metric using the web source map. Once this was done, uh, then the next step was to couple this piezoelectric bulb, which was not in the in the model, uh, coupled to the actual uh, compu computational model of the full uh, injection system. So as we can see here, well, there is a lot to see. Um, here we have like the pressure of the balloon. Then all this system here is the the one that. Um, the information you get from the vacuum chamber that feeds the information in the piezoelectric that allows the, the electric uh, current applied to the piezo, uh, piezo valve um, measure how much gas you have to inject to the vacuum chamber. So it's quite, quite interesting for me since I, I work most in theory. For me, this was um, like an open window to a new world. Uh, so this is the gas injection line, just the, the piezo, this is the piezo uh, main system, main computational system for simulating. And then, uh, well, I had to use the actual values of uh, uses in West Tokamak. Then uh, much of the time it was consumed by uh, obtaining the PID control values, which uh, they, as they say, they control um, the curve that we will see later, uh, the curves that actually matches the profile we want to have inside the vacuum chamber. So a good way to do this is to do some numerical methods. 
of place on the micro methods to obtain the PID control values. But the thing is, it was uh, I only had two months for this for this project, so there was not much time to to apply the micro method. So I had to start uh, trying different values, and that's much of it. So which what um, which were the the results of things? So here we have the pressure vacuum chamber. So we wanted to achieve a 0 0.1 uh, pascals inside the vacuum chamber. So, so as you can see, at certain time, um, the, the piezoelectric valve received the, the order to open up. We apply some, some voltage, as you can see in the, in the, right, the right graph. We apply a very high voltage, then the piezo opens, and then the, the, the flow starts to, to come inside the vacuum chamber. Then, as you can see, the voltage start, start, starts to regulate itself, it starts to decrease, and then the piezo start, starts to, to flow until they reach the, the, the steady um, pressure you want to have inside the, inside the, the vacuum chamber. We have also the injected glass, uh, gas blocks. Uh, I think for this, we use hydrogen. And also the pressure difference we, we want to achieve, of course, it's, it's the pressure difference is the, the pressure between um, the value we want to have and the value that is being injected into the, into the vacuum chamber. So yeah, now the idea was to match all these results with the actual results uh, taken from the from the West Coast. The thing uh, was the last week uh, there was a uh, Water leaked inside the chamber, inside the vacuum chamber. So uh, the campaign got delayed, and it wasn't possible to get uh, the real, real data. But some final conclusion: Well, the pH electric was uh, satisfactorily modeled and repro reproduced. Um, the exercise behavior also also matches well the um, the real values and the values from the from the paper we take the model and and also from the real pH electrics used. And the coupling shows very, very promising results. But at, as I said, they need a final corroboration. And up till now, I don't know if the campaign of, from the West already started. Uh, I'm not sure. But it's necessary to make corroboration to the, to the model. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. So the error propagation in the pressure. Sorry, sorry. Is that the error propagation in the pressure? I don't understand. Is that the error propagation in the pressure? Helium. Error. Error. Error propagation. Error propagation. Error propagation. Yeah. Ah, error propagation. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, let me see. No, we didn't uh, do any like error analysis because as I said, there was not much time to do. But I, I don't recall. I have to check the my report. But I think yeah, yeah, we did some error error propagation in analysis. Mm. It, it's it's necessary when when it's uh, concerning PID control uh, systems. Mm. Any other questions? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.